Shalom. Um, I want to talk to you about uh, dreams and visions. If you've been watching my channel at all, you've noticed that I recorded many some dreams about different things that are, are now happening in Israel. He, he spoke to me about terrorism in, in Hebron and uh, Benjamin, that there would be attacks and terrorism in Benjamin and that there would be, uh, Demona would be attacked and so would the city of Demona, the nuclear reactor and the city. And the Lord had showed me that Jerusalem will be attacked at some point. And he also showed me that uh, Israel will destroy Damascus and they will also attack Iran. Iran's purpose is to destroy Israel, they've said so. So Israel is going to have to defend themselves. Um, the Lord had shown me, He showed me many things. He told me back in 2011 that when they came to take my house, and they proposed to take his, that I would know it was the end of time. There was no more time left. So, I believe the rapture could happen at any time. We are very close to that, to the catching away. And uh, the Lord had also showed me that, and I posted videos about these things too, many of them before they happened. Things that he was showing me two years ago are just now happening. And anyway, he showed me that uh, Esther would set Israel free on Purim. And within two weeks of that dream, Netanyahu brought the scroll of Esther to Obama and told them that they had the right to defend themselves. So Esther was sitting free, just like the thing that happened with Haman. He was saying, we're not going to go through that again. We need to pray for Israel. Our country, and in particular President Barack Hussein Obama, has done more to harm the country of Israel than any other U.S. president. This is a direct violation of God's laws. He doesn't believe we are a Christian nation. He has stated so many times. So, we need to pray for Israel. Um... I saw three rockets launched from near Damascus, which triggers Israel to nuke Damascus at some point. And they're on mobile carriers. I've, I've said these things before. I had a dream that there were two sets of rabbis that were arguing, fighting for control of Israel. One of the rabbis, sets of rabbis, there were seven in each group. And one of the groups wore a scarlet thread and the Lord told me those men were favored and then he told me Ramoth Gilead which is the city of refuge for the Gad tribe of Gad I don't know exactly what that means I haven't had a chance to really thoroughly research it I've been very busy here lately praying and talking to the Lord about what's going on with all these rockets that are falling on Israel and this build up to what I believe is the going to be a, a confrontation on a large scale. So I would like you to pray for our Jewish brothers and sisters over in Israel. There's only six and a half million of them. There are millions and millions of people that are against them. There are lies being told in the U.S. media and throughout the world. When they spoke about the three Jewish boys that were coming home from Bible school, from yeshiva school. They were captured and they were murdered within minutes. Within 30 minutes or so, they'd killed those boys. And they were bragging about how they shot them point blank and killed them. And the news media says, oh, the killing of these boys. And then when we talk about the young Arab boy that was killed, they say, the murder of the young Arab boy. It's dual, uh, it's a dual
type of reality in this world when you have these three young Jewish boys are murdered, but yet we don't call it murder. We call it killings, and then we call the Arab boy, that's a murder. And then we talk about the Jews being occupiers of their own land. The true occupiers is the United States of America. They came and took this country from American Indians. That's the true occupiers. Israel came there and occupied that land 3,500 years ago under the command of Almighty God who owns all of the land. It's His. And He says if you interfere with Him and His people, He's going to destroy you. He said that I am going to scatter the Jews and all the nations to punish them, to get them to repent and to come back to me. And when they return back to the land, He said, I will destroy every nation wherein I have scattered them. One of the lands He scattered was right here in this country of the United States of America. And he's going to use the Soviet Union, the ex-Soviet Union, Russia, and they're, they're starting to regather their little pieces together. Did you notice that? This bear's coming back to life. He's going to strike him. But he's even going to be suspicious. Oh, they can't do a thing. They just put $650 billion into their military. Their subs were seen off of our, both of our coasts. They were outside of our submarine pen on the east coast with the Kula class killer subs that are designed to shoot our missile boats. What do you think that's for? They had their Russian TU-95 bear planes flying off the coast of California twice. They came into Alaska. They flew, flew around Guam. They flew around Japan. They're carrying thermonuclear cruise missiles. Say they come out within that 13 mile limit is where they came in. They came closer than the 250 mile limit because nobody recognizes that. It's a fishing limit. They could have fired those missiles and took out most of our infrastructure within moments and there would have been no retaliation because Bill Clinton and Barack Obama have now made it where our submarines can't launch their missiles even if they detect a nuclear detonation without the president's direct order. So what kind of craziness is going to go on before they can, re they can launch? I don't think anything's going to happen. I think they're going to hit us and then we're, just, we're going to recover. That's what mode we'll be in. And then there may be like some light third world war and then and then uh, Obama will be named God of the planet or something maybe. I don't know what. The Antichrist is coming one way or the other. So we need to pray. We need to be in deep prayer because the Lord is coming soon. They came to take my house in 2012. They're not quite finished yet. Well, actually we... We didn't actually file till the end of the uh, middle of 13. So anyway, that happened. I had a $400 house payment and 5 kilowatt solar on my house. I didn't have any electrical bills or anything. How did that happen to me? That's what I was thinking. How did this happen? So I want you guys to pray. Pray for Israel. This war is designed, this thing that's happening is designed to make them look bad. Six and a half million of them against 250 million. 170,000 rockets are in the hands of those people that want to hurt them. I posted a video about all the people in Israel that are under rocket threat. Like three million people or more. So, and we know that there are more long range rockets than these that those guys have. Every day they live in terror. In their own country, they live in terror. So pray for them. And be strong. The Lord is coming. He is coming. That is a guarantee. He said, when you see these things begin to come to pass, you know that that generation shall not pass away until all things are fulfilled. Israel was scattered into the world until 1948. That's when they became a nation in one day, as the scripture tells us that would happen. So, we know that God's word is true. We know that his promise is sure. He wants you to have faith like Abraham did, so that even though your body's dead, you know that God's word to you will, will come to pass. He wants you to have faith and hope in him. So please pray for Israel. And think about that dream in Ramoth Gilead, the cities of refuge. Thank you for watching and God bless each and every one of you.